You know, back in the day, there were these wrestling hotlines, 900 lines. WCW Hotline, WWF Hotline, the Wrestling Observer Hotline, for a while, the Figure Four Hotline. And you paid 99 cents a minute or whatever, $1.99 a minute, some places $2.99 a minute for the real crazies. But at least on the Observer Hotline, it was different from some of the other hotlines, like the Gene Okerlund Hotline. He'd string you along as, as far as he could to get the money out of you. But because you were paying 99 cents a minute for the Observer Hotline... We would give you the biggest news first. Well, now we've got podcasts, and this show is free. So I could string you all along if I wanted to. But, hearkening back to the days of the 900 lines, let's not waste any time talking about the biggest news of the day. The table. <laughs> Oh, my butt. Oh, my hole. Not the first time somebody's uttered that, I'm sure. Bro, Just do you know how many times TV show. I rewound this and watched it over and over? And we didn't start the Observer radio show till 1 a.m. Pacific! Because I spent so much time, I was in tears. I was crying. I laughed and I laughed. And I laughed. And you know what? That clip we just played, that's funny. But you got to go back further. It's even funnier. Because what happens, for those of you that don't know, God only knows how. In the middle of Raw, out of nowhere, they announce, coming up after the break, we've got a tables match. Okay. Well, we come back from the break, and they reveal, with no promotion, that Nia Jax will be facing Lana in a tables match. Bro, how long ago did they start this stupid feud? She got put through a table nine times. Nia keeps putting her through the table, putting her through the table, putting her through the table every week on this show. And finally, it builds towards Lana in line for a championship match against Nia and Shayna at the TLC pay-per-view in early December. But they beat up Lana. She is put out of action. She can't get her shot. Lana vanishes for weeks on end. She finally makes her triumphant return at the Royal Rumble, and she throws out Nia Jax. So after all this time, we're finally going to get a payoff. Lana and Nia in a tables match. They don't announce it last week on Raw. They don't announce it on social media. They don't even open the show with it. They just throw it on in the middle of the program. Hey, tonight, next... We're going to have a tables match. You wait through the break, and well, here's the match. So they're doing this match. Nia's just beating her ass. And finally, they end up on the apron. And it's weird because there's tables surrounding the ring, but they're all the way pushed up against the barricade. So they're in the ring, threatening to throw each other over the top rope, and the announcers are freaking out like, oh, if Nia goes over this top rope, she may go through this table. It's like, the table's 10 feet away. Like, why are we pretending it's a Royal Rumble? So then she goes over the day, fight over the top rope all dramatically, and Lana ends up sitting on the apron. Nia goes over, and she gets a run and start. And this is where you need to start, start watching this match. First off, Nia goes for a leg drop, you guys ever seen Nia's leg drop? She gets no air, as they call it. She lifts her leg up and then just sits down. There's no drama to this at all. It's not like she, like Hulk Hogan during that match with the Warrior, where Hogan leaps for the leg drop and the camera has to pan high into the air and back down. 
No. Naya walks and she lifts her leg up and then she sits. But Lana moves. And Naya sits on the apron. She then starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Ah! She's screaming. Why? I don't have any idea. She's screaming. She sits and rolls to the... Like, she stands up on the floor. She's screaming and holding her buttocks. Then they cut to Lana, and Lana says, and I quote, Oh, my God. Those are exact words. Oh, my God. She broke her ass. Lana then says, and I quote, The table. <laughs> My table. My hole. My hole. Do you know what a hole is? You know what it is? It's an absence. That's what a hole is. You have a mass, and then there's part of the mass that's not there. That's a hole. How do you hurt a hole? Did she break her hole? Did she put a hole in her hole? I have no idea. But she sells it like she's never sold anything in her life. Oh my God, Lana says. And she runs and she pushes Nia Jax. And there's a there's a table against the barricade. And Nia Jax runs into it and it breaks and Lana wins. Bro. Listen, I don't want to see anybody fired, okay? But if this is my company, she would have been suspended so many times by now. She would have been suspended for hurting people over and over and over again. And miraculously in this match, Nia didn't hurt anybody, but she made a mockery of this match. Does anybody care one bit about Lana beating Nia in a tables match? No, no one's going to remember anything about this except, oh my butt, my hole. It is a meme on the internet. It's been played... 219,000 times. That's just the one I used. God only knows how many times my hole has been replayed on the internet. She made a mockery of the match. She turned it into total comedy. It was impossible to take seriously before, but like after this, how could you possibly take any of this seriously? It's like comedy. She had to do a job for Lana, and so she made it into the biggest joke of anything you could ever make a joke out of. And now that will live in, inf in infamy. The archer of infamy has nothing on Nia Jax's hole. It will live in infamy until the end of time on the internet. How do you not at least give her a suspension of some sort for this? Do you know what I'm saying? And clearly they were like thrilled with it because the replay... There is no replay of this. It is edited off Hulu. It is bleeped on YouTube. They have removed my hole from history. But you know what? You can only do so much. It will live on in history. On this program. On Botchamania. In the dark recesses of Twitter. Until the end of time. This they are apparently embarrassed by. But all of this stuff with Alexa and Magic and the Fiend that they are proud of. We got a big problem here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, my butt. My hole. What more can I say? If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.